While the official title bestowed upon Rukoro is chief of the Ovaherero traditional authority, the Ovaherero of Ambanderu and Nama Council is not happy with some interpretations that cite him as the paramount chief of the Ovaherero. Rukoro is a prominent member of the Nama Herero Genocide Technical Committee, which is advocating for the descendants of the 1904 genocide to have a seat at the reparation negotiations. Chief Rukoro is boasting around telling the public that government recognized him as paramount chief, with his office situated in Windhoek. He was reportedly accorded special recognition, unlike the other chiefs that are subjected to communal areas in accordance with the Traditional Authorities Act, Act Number 25 of 2000. The council now wants government to be the arbitrator in the matter, stating that Rukoro's status promotes division and threatens to escalate disputes among the community, which has already fallen victim to disunity. The ONCD 1904-1908, therefore, please, with His Excellency, to take steps that will alter this situation in the best interest of one Namibia, one nation. Advocate Rukoro took over from the late Kwaima Rirwako in 2014. He applied to replace Chief Rirwako. He was recognized from Aminus, Chief Rirwako. That was his headquarters. And then he replied first as paramount chief in English. And we said, you yourself, as attorney general, ruled that there is no paramount, paramount chiefs. He, Rukoro, as attorney general, ruled that out. As infighting among traditional leaders has become somewhat of a norm, the inability of some of them to solve disputes amicably without involving the central government is worrisome. We are here to govern, provide schools, hospitals, infrastructure, addressing poverty, corruption, and so on. We are occupied one third of our time dealing with traditional issues. Fights over recognition or not recognition, fight over this and that, fight over allowances and cars, come on. Government will also look into the matter of allowances for traditional leaders. Blanche Corres, NBC News.